Hey, how are you doing? Um, today we're going to be doing some shaving. So um, I've got my, my pal here. Um, he's got a 14 point shave system pointed out here. So that's what I use when I'm shaving and that's what I teach. So what we're going to do today is um, film a shave and you'll be able to see how I do it. And there's some pointers on there that will help you hopefully when you're shaving um, to improve or be a bit more confident in what you do. So the first thing we're going to do as always is put gloves on and then we're going to apply pre-shave cream which is a Pro Raso pre-shave cream and that's going to help soften up the beard and to be able to allow the razor to glide a little bit easier when that beard's softer and the skin's all softened up. It's also got a fantastic smell to it so it really opens up uh, the nasal passages when the in and also when you put the hot towel on it gives a, a really amazing effect. Now we're putting on the hot towel, um, which is going to really soften up the beard and uh, soften up the skin and allow that razor to slide. Um, and what we're going to do whilst we're waiting for that to take, we're just going to do a lather, like nice soft peaks like meringues, and that's going to give us the consistency that we require for our shaving cream. So we're just going to use that hot towel to remove the excess of the pre-shave cream before we apply our lather with the shave brush. Now we're applying our lather and we're using circular motion um, and using that to lift up the bristles of the hair to really give you the best chance of being able to cut the hair cleanly off. So using that uh, brush to lift up all the hair and cover the face in, in, in a good lather and what we're doing here is we're just fanning out the brush to be able to use that in the top lip area so as not to cover the client's lip and nose in lots and lots of shape cream.
So what we're doing here is we're going to get the client's head in the correct angle before we uh, start. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use our 14 point pattern where we start with point one, which is at the side on the right hand side of the client if you're a right handed barber. So each area of the shave has its um, different directions. Area one is a forehand, area two is a backhand. Um, we'll explain this in further detail later, but these two strokes are the staple of the shave. There I am doing a forehand stroke into area three, stroke four. this first pass of the shave what we're doing is we're looking to only go in the direction of the brain we're shaving in the direction of the growth of the hair to avoid any uh, snagging of the beard and also to avoid any blood spots and uh, the nature of the skin backhand which is uh, another angle to follow the growth patterns of the Now we're switching to the other side using a backhand technique uh, to, to put this section and move the hair here. Um, and then we move into the section after this where we move into a forehand technique. There I'm doing the forehand technique which is probably the biggest part of the shave where you get to do the forehand on the largest section here. Now 
Now here on section 10 we're doing a back end technique. Um, this is the, probably one of the most difficult uh, parts of the shave. It takes something that takes quite a lot of practice. Following the growth pattern of the hair, removing that hair with those single strokes, keeping the blade at a 30 degree angle so as not to either have it too steep so it doesn't cut or have it too shallow so that it takes it too close for the clay. to reverse backhand from the opposite side. Continuing with that backhand technique, right underneath the chin and either side of the Adam's apple. When we trim the Adam's apple around the Adam's apple, we always pull the hair and the skin to one side, so right across there, over to one side, and shave one side of the Adam's apple, and then pull it on the opposite side, shave the opposite side, never shave it directly off the top of the Adam's apple. Sometimes if your lather dries out a little bit, don't worry, you just pop a little bit more on. It's best to add more lather so to keep your shave nice and moist and so the blade will slip across the skin very, very easily. shaving across the chin, I start at one side and come all the way across, following the contour of the chin, taking each section with small strokes.
lip, shaving up underneath the lip, small strokes and curving up off the lip. That's really the trick here is to have like a nice C curve with your, with your stroke on the blade and have it a nice sharp curve of the head or right up to the edge of the lip. Sometimes this is quite a difficult area. So just pull it up, pull the nose up, and keep that tension on that skin whilst pulling the razor down in quite even strokes. Now, unfortunately, you can't quite see here what I'm doing, but I'm using two techniques in the dent in the top lip and what I'm doing is I'm using one uh, technique where I push the lip together to form to, to make the top part of the lip flat and the other one is I use the tip of the razor to go into the dip in the lip. moustache area coming following the grain so again not to cause irritation for the following nostril area right down to the top lip going using a backhand technique very fine strokes very very light action underneath the nose area Now we've finished that, we're going to go for another hot towel and uh, this time just wipe it off and don't have it on too hot because now the client doesn't have any air protecting his skin and that'll feel extra hot. So here's the products that we use for Raso. Fantastic. Again, lather up this time, um, not as thick, a little bit of a thinner uh, covering so you can see any small parts that you may have missed and uh, really be careful in that detail. running out the brush to cover the top lip without getting it all over the client's nose and the mouth.
So we're just going through our protein shake pattern here. Um, now we're on to this area under the neck. We're just following the grain again with a slightly steeper angle. So to take it a slightly closer. There's a better view of me using that back end technique underneath the chin. see that reverse backhand technique there.
now be able to see from this angle shaving the top of the top lip nice and gentle pull the nose right up get that skin really really tight on that top lip the second pass we're going on to a cold towel we're just going to close all the pores and really close up the shave So the client doesn't look super shiny when he goes out. We put a little bit of talc on a towel and just pat him down so that that gives you him the nice finish. And send him off for the day. Top shave, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I think I put. I think I'll have to put that in. <laughs> I hope that this video helps you to look at shaving in a slightly different way, maybe to look at taking a course, give you a bit of inspiration, or even just to help you out a little bit um, in maybe the areas that you're finding difficult to wear, like around the top lip or under under here, under the lip, which is quite difficult areas. Um, hopefully this video has given you a little bit of advice, a little bit of an idea on how to uh, deal with those areas. So look out for the videos coming um, the rest of the week we're going to be at the Scottish Show Barber Show tomorrow so we're going to be filming from there and uploading a video to YouTube from there and, also, and don't forget subscribe below and if you think it's a good video give it a like thanks very much bye